you would be amazed how many developments uh, come forward with no contingency or with inadequate contingency. Um, you know, a, a scheme which is uh, barely designed having a 5% contingency, um, uh, we, it, it, it is not going to be large enough to be sensible, if you see what I mean. And for all the reasons of uncertainty that we've discussed already in terms of materials and what have you, um, so the, the emphasis on getting a reasonable contingency built in, uh, lots of lenders by default will build in a 10% contingency over anything that the developer says, just because uh, they, 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 if you like, they're building in their own risk margin. That's a very sensible approach. And they will always have it in the facility, whether the developer wants it or not, just as a, as a deal. And it will still have to work with that 10% contingency, assumedly spent. Um, that, but uh, So therefore, that would lead a developer not to put a contingency in because he knows it's going to get put in uh, later on. And I do accept that. But you know, know, know what you're, how your lender is going to play it. Um, and I think also there is uh, scrutiny on the insurances, the various insurances of the various different players in the deal, uh, be that uh, development insurance itself, but I'm also talking about uh, the uh, PI of the consultants. Uh, the, the, there is often the need to choose a smaller de designer, uh, both in structures and architect, because they are cheaper. And the reason they are cheaper is because they carry a hundred thousand pounds PI. Um, PI costs have, in the construction industry especially, have gone through the roof uh, by factors of 10. Uh, over the last um, 12 months, um, the, 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 it's all related to Grenfell, evidently, and I'm not saying it's wrong, uh, but uh, you, have to ex you have to understand where the consultants are. They are paying 10 times more for their PI than they paid the year before, or where they used to carry 10, they now only carry five. Um, I know most lenders have a 10 or a 5 million pound uh, consultants threshold that they must be reached. Then again, you must ask yourself on the projects that you're lending to, um, when are you ever likely to be suing anyone for 5 million quid of the project? Um, you've asked them to get 5 million pounds uh, PI, but is that really going to be there? Um, th there has been 10 and five are the sort of minimum cutoffs that lenders will be looking for these days. But on a um, on a million pound uh, three unit residential development, I don't think your uh, architect necessarily needs that much um, uh, PI. And there, there, so there needs to be an, an understanding of that level. But um, so lenders might have to get used to uh, accepting lower PIs from their advisors and their consultants within the development, if you see what I mean. Um, because £10 million uh, PI cover for a project manager is unbelievably expensive at the moment, and preventatively so. Um, and whereas you might have got it two years ago, you might not get it anymore because they're, because it isn't available. Uh, to the same consultants, or if it is av if it is available, it is available at preventative levels. So I think so. Insurances has been there has been a major uh, uh, look at, um, and of course refocusing on cost and time. 